Hey there, we're back in Assetto Corsa, this time on a map that was recommended by one of the channel's subscribers, Greg Johnson. Um, put a comment on the Tannenkirk video, and I was talking about modders and the heart and soul that they put into it is actually worth their patronizing um, their their work, um, either you know the buy, buy them a coffee links or the uh, uh, monthly or annual subscriptions on their Patreons. He pointed out that the Hamburg map, now um, author known as 4R, has a free version of Hamburg that's available on Overtake, and I'll provide the link to that. But he also has a complete Hamburg download that is for supporters only. And you'll see, actually, there's a sign here, Welcome to Hamburg by 4R, Supporters Edition version 1.0. And uh, that's what we're driving here now. Um, it also does have two real traffic that you have to download separately through two reels. Patreon and um, drop that into the uh, different uh, map configurations to get the traffic working. And uh, there are some other mods. There's one for 3D trees, if that's your thing. Um, the author of 4R actually doesn't recommend that, um, mostly because it takes away some of the other vegetation in doing that, uh, but to each their own. The idea here is this uh, Hamburg, I think it's primarily freeway systems, um, so it's a lot like uh, Shutoko Revival Project in that particular sense, but it is Hamburg, Germany, which is kind of interesting. Um, he thanks us for supporting this project. Hamburg is waiting for you to be explored. Stay tuned for the upcoming Road to Stockholm extension and enjoy the ride. So he's definitely actively involved in continually adapting and growing this map. The most recent updates um, that have happened for this map were last month, so it is fairly, fairly current. So let's go ahead and give this a drive. Got some nice sky going on. I am... Uh, this is live time um, in Munich, I guess. Or not Munich, in Hamburg, where we are. Um, and it's uh, Also uh, got my two reel dialed in a little bit. I've got the uh, spawning distance uh, to 500 meters, so the cars aren't just magically appearing in front of me, which should make it a little bit more enjoyable to drive them and see them off in the distance a little bit uh, more easily. This is a pretty map, though. Me uh, messed with the uh, pure light filters a little bit. Uh, there's a profile that um, I like and I, I forgot to load actually previously. Also one uh, has a Patreon uh, associated with it uh, for um, more cinematic um, filters. So looks a little bit more color rich, a little bit more saturated and uh, sharper and uh, vivid is the word I think. Go ahead and get off here. drive about a bit. It's like we have a... Uh, that's a wrong lane to be in. Looks like a port of some sort up here. train station, I don't know which. 
looks like uh, the big cranes for offloading containers from something. water. So yeah, it's a shipping port. That's kind of cool. I've only been to Hamburg once and it was a fly through, so I only saw the inside of the airport. When I uh, actually uh, spent time in Germany in Nuremberg, uh, what is it, Nuremberg, for an IT conference, the ITSA conference, I think it was called. I uh, flew into Frankfurt and then had a connecting flight to Nuremberg directly, so... Um, I guess this is a turnaround point, because it doesn't look like there's a lot over this way. run into an invisible brick wall if I keep messing about. That's kind of cool. You have secret rendezvous around the containers. If that's your thing. miles an hour? No. <laughs> 80 kilometers an hour, and I'm doing well over that. Uh-oh. Lots of traffic. I have to 
do more exploration of this map just to see if there are any connections. Like if I got off, if I could keep going what I presume is north and find the f a freeway on-ramp again. I just went back the way I came because I knew I could get back on. an hour either. but it sounds like we're still in a tunnel. seem incredibly narrow. No, that's not an exit for me. the uh, airport exit for a sec. This is the airport exit.
So Greg, I actually I agree. I, I like this map. It's it's cool. There's some things I don't like uh, about it a little bit. Like the ro the lanes seem a little narrow to me, but maybe that's just my perception. Um, and some of the turns are a little unexpected because of that narrowness. I think. But it is a very cool map. And I think with the, the lighting filters, it's, uh, it looks pretty, pretty good at dusk here. This is. assume this is an airport, but I don't know, I guess it's kind of hard to tell what's going on over here. It's a little bit incomplete. Expansive map, though. Like I said, he's actively developing it. The uh, most recent updates are from uh, October, the last month. So that's that's pretty cool. Slowed down a little bit because I really do not know where the hell I am. <laughs> and according to the map, this just keeps going for a little bit. I do think it does end up here somewhere. for some really long drag races. It's gonna come to an end here shortly, so... I guess I have to curb hop to get back. That's weird. Don't like to do that. Yeah, that should have been a turnabout or something. Might be looking to maybe extend it out even further so it's incomplete. I don't know. Pretty cool regardless, though.
Let's go. Back to the freeway. What the heck? Weird. Well, that's a 20 minute video. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What do you think? Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Colors are pretty. Um, the scenery is pretty. It's definitely a map in progress. So I'm um, going to enjoy exploring this a little bit further. But uh, for now, I'm going to call it a Croet's. Uh, mostly because I just lost my attention there for a second and wrecked the darn car. Um, like, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff, and uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.